In this video we're going to take a look at rearranging some complicated equations and this time it's going to be where the equation has the desired subject appearing more than once. Okay and we're going to work through a series of, of examples in order to illustrate this. So the first example is to rearrange the equation shown here to make A the subject. Now A appears twice so we're going to have to do something referred to as factorising. So we're going to have to put some brackets in and take A outside of the bracket and then we need to put things inside the bracket such that if we were to multiply this back out we'd end up with these terms again. So the first thing we're going to put in is B. So if we multiplied A by B we'd get this BA term back and the next thing we're going to put in is plus 5. So if we multiply A by plus 5 we get the plus 5A. So now we've factorised we're going to divide both sides by what's in those brackets, so the b plus 5 in brackets. That means that the b plus 5 in brackets cancels over on the right hand side and we're left with a equals y divided by b plus 5. So that is the first example. The next example we've got a on the left hand side and on the right hand side. So what we're going to do in this situation is we're going to subtract BA from both sides in order to get all the A terms onto one side of the equation. So BA cancels on the right hand side that leaves us with YA minus BA equals C. We now need to factorise and take A outside of the brackets so we've got A open brackets and we need to put two terms in here that if we were to multiply them back out we'd get back to YA minus BA. So we need to put y in, so if we multiplied a by y we'd get back to ya, and we're going to put minus b in, so if we multiplied a by minus b we'd get the minus ba term back. We're now going to divide both sides by y minus b in brackets, so they cancel on the left hand side, and we're left with a equals c divided by y minus b. The third example then, um, is, is even more complicated and the first step here is to get rid of the division that the fraction on the right hand side so we're going to just put some brackets in to make this simpler we're going to multiply both sides by a plus c in brackets so that cancels on the right hand side and we're left with y times a plus c equals ba plus 5 we're now going to multiply out that bracket on the left hand side. So we get YA plus YC equals BA plus 5. And that's important because we need to separate out the terms here. Um, and the next step is going to be get to gather up all the terms with A in on one side and all the terms without A on the other side. So we're going to subtract BA from both sides which will then cancel on the right hand side and give us YA plus YC minus BA equals 5. So we've got all the A terms on the left hand side now. We're now going to subtract YC from both sides in order to get all the terms without A over onto the right hand side. So they cancel on the left hand side and we're left with YA minus BA equals 5 minus YC. So we've now achieved um, a sort of midway point in the rearranging. We've got all the A terms, all the terms with A in them on the left hand side and all the terms without A on the right hand side. We're now going to factorise the left hand side so we're going to put A outside the brackets and then we're going to put two terms into that bracket such that if you were to multiply that back out you'd get back to what you had before. So we've done that there the next step then is to divide both sides by y minus b so that that cancels on the left hand side and we're left with a equals 5 minus yc divided by y minus b. So that's been a video showing you how to rearrange equations where the desired subject appears more than once in the equation. And I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and thanks very much for watching.